Hey everybody, Damien Erskine here. How y'all doing? Um, I'm doing this short video to uh, explain and demonstrate how to properly set up your Groove Gear Duo Strap Signature or Duo Strap Neo. I've got a brand spanking new Duo Strap Signature here. Um, now let's get right to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually detach the uh, second shoulder strap. If you're a right-handed bass player, that would be the right shoulder strap. So what we're left with is just a normal bass strap. So first, I want to get this adjusted just like you would any normal strap. Once you have the strap set up as you would set up any of your straps, Next step is to attach the second shoulder strap um, to the back of your Groove Gear strap. You'll notice on the back of the primary strap here, there's holes all up and down, about an inch apart, um, to give you plenty of areas um, there to detach this. So I will make sure it's facing the right way, um, but you can tell that by virtue of the logos being on the same side of the straps there. And we want to attach this onto the very inside, the part that's going to be against your body, of the shoulder strap. Now you're going to want to play around with this once you get it attached the first time, because um, you, you can attach it anywhere along this plane. Um, and that'll move the strap towards or away from your neck. And the one thing you want to make sure is that it's not pushing into your neck. You don't want to uh, put any pressure anywhere there. So I'll use the uh, included Chicago screws. Now you notice that they are not, they're properly length so that you can't cinch it really tight. You can tighten the screw all the way, but there's going to be a little bit of play in the strap. And this is intentional so that it swings around and moves um, freely so it'll fit your body properly. So I'm putting this on the base. I've got my bottom strap pin attached. Now before I attach the upper horn strap, I'm going to loop, put that loop through the upper horn so I get this second strap attached to the upper horn there. Now the way I like to put the strap on um, everybody can experiment with your own methods, um, but one of the questions I often receive is how do I put this on comfortably? Um, and certainly I've seen some interesting acrobatics when I first hand somebody my base and they just try and figure it out. I hold both straps in one hand, right shoulder strap uh, sitting underneath my primary strap, then I'll just push it over my head and let the primary strap fall while guiding the right shoulder strap over my right shoulder. So now what we're going to play with is the length of the right shoulder strap. And it's pretty easy to do. You can, you know, the more you pull it up or the more you let it hang, adjust the amount of tension. So I'm going to guesstimate let's say right about there. And what we're looking for is even weight distribution. You want to you want to play around with positioning of the back to make sure it's it's not coming up cross at a strange angle and play with the length of the front. You don't want this strap too tight because then that's just transferring the weight from this strap to this strap and this from this shoulder to this shoulder. You don't want it too loose because then it's not really helping distribute the weight at all. You want to find that sweet spot. And for me, I, I personally had my wife stand behind me and help me adjust the position and adjust um, the length to see where I wanted the tension to sit. I can already tell it's a little bit loose, so I'm gonna move it up one hole. And right now I'm just, I'm just pushing the peg right through the hole. I'm not bothering with the belt loop straps just yet. I wanna make sure I get it where I want it before I kinda of set it. Cause once we set it, we can kinda of set it and forget it. We never have to change this length. Um, and I, I encourage you to take some time standing with the instrument, maybe use it on a gig. Um, I often feel that, I, oh, I think I got it. And then I'll take it to a gig and halfway through the gig, I realize, no, I'm actually putting too much weight on this shoulder now. And so I'll need to loosen it a little bit. And you know, you need to sit with it and feel, get a feel for it to tell how it's really 
sitting um, on your body. Everybody's body is different, so everybody will require a slightly different setup. And this is the primary setup for the duo strap if you have um, an upper horn on your bass, if you have a double cut bass. Um, now, side note, I use strap locks with all of my bases and all of my straps. Um, I prefer the Dunlop strap locks specifically because they make what's called a flush mount strap lock. And if you don't know what that is, I can show you right here because I actually have a flush mount strap lock on the back of this base. This hole right there is a strap lock hole that's meant to receive a Dunlop flush mount strap lock. And now I'm going to grab um, my personal strap to give you an idea of why that is so handy. All right, so with my everyday strap, you just push the strap right in the button, strap lock into the button, and it doesn't move. It'll never come loose. It'll never fall off your body. This also allows me to connect the strap in the second way, um, which is how I prefer it, because it gives you a little more flexibility with positioning of the strap, plus it works great on single cut bases. Now I have this little strap lock that I'm just going to pump right into that hole. Now my strap is locked there. And the question I always get is, do you feel that rubbing up against your body? And honestly, no, I don't. Just kind of sits right in the curve, kind of near the solar plexus, but a little bit below. It's actually where the belly would be, but it never digs into your body. Um, it just sits right in between you and the base. Um, and so personally, I played around quite a bit with location of this strap on the back of my base. Once I found that sweet spot, I installed a strap lock, flush mount strap lock button. And now, um, I've installed a button in that same location in all of my bases. Now I can actually just use this one strap and click, click, click. It works with all of my bases. And this allows me to really dial in exactly the angle and the tension, I mean, to a minute de detail, fractions of an inch. You can really just find that sweet spot and make sure you have the sweet spot before you <laughs> drill a little a little cavity in your base and install the flush mount strap lock um, but i assure you it is a uh, it is i think the best way to actually utilize this strap because you can really dial in exactly how the weight is distributed on your body and uh my, my heaviest base that i have i can wear all night long and it is you know i still feel it eventually but man it is way better than the single strap um, that I used to use. I started working on this idea when I was having numbness issues. I was pinching a nerve on the road. I was playing six nights a week and I was just getting fatigued and I noticed my fingers started going numb on a gig. Started exploring this idea and for me it was a game changer and a lifesaver and a back saver. Um, so this is my preferred way to utilize the strap. But for those of you who may not be keen on um, installing a flush mount strap lock in the back of your base, which I can understand, we have a third option. The clever folks at Groove Gear have come up with an optional tension strap, which you can attach to the strap buttons on your base this won't work with flush mount strap locks if you use them for the front and end pins. And you're left with this strap on the back of your base and you simply grab the slack there, cinch it tight. And I've seen students using this and none of them have experienced any issues with scuffing or marking. Um, uh, but I, don't, I personally don't, don't use this strap so much so I don't have that much experience with it. Um, but what this gives you is a surface here with which you can attach that upper horn loop. So now that I have my base strap, primary strap set normally, now I can take this upper horn loop and put it right through that 
right around that strap and then again find that sweet spot and now it actually gives you a little more versatility as to where the, ba the strap hangs on your body. Once you have it set, you can utilize the belt loop hoops in there if you like, just to set this strap up so it's always where you want it or leave it open so you can unattach it easily. It won't come loose while you're playing. And there we have it. Three methods for attaching um, and utilizing your Groove Gear Duo strap. Happy shedding. Mm -hmm.